Hi students, Pete Estabrook here. Let's talk about the blues. This will be part one of a, a several video series on the blues and getting started with improvisation. For a lot of people, the blues is an entry point into learning to improvise. So kind of the first level without diving down into the harmony and the guide tones and that sort of thing, the first level to just get somebody playing, I will often recommend that they use what I call the blues scale. It's a minor pentatonic scale with an added note, whether you call it a sharp 11 or a flat five, it's up to you. You can call it a peanut butter sandwich if you want to for all I care, as long as you get the right pitch. So let's make that concrete in the key of C, that's C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, and C. So the minor pentatonic scale, C, E flat, F, G, B flat, with the added note G flat or F sharp, whatever, however you wanna name it. Um, my feeling is that's probably, the origin's probably an African folk scale, and uh, it doesn't really fit on our European, no, no folk music fits on our European Western tonal system very well. So the, the kind of bent notes that you hear in a lot of blues solos are that, kind of African folk sound not quite fitting and trying to conform or not trying to conform into the Western tonal system. So that's what gives a sound, um, you know, if you just play those notes and you don't bend any of them, it doesn't quite have the sound that we're looking for. So the bent notes are do add that human quality to it. So that scale, if you look at it closely and you examine the changes in a basic blues, just a basic 5-4-1 blues, um, is made up of some of the important notes from each of the chords. So it allows you to kind of float or skate through a chorus of the blues without worrying about the individual chord changes. You'll hit some good notes. Some notes will clash, but that clash is the sound of the blues. So um it it gives you a little something that you can think about playing a melody without having to get too tied down to the considerations of harmony and individual scales and so forth which are another stage of course in playing the blues this wouldn't be the only thing that we would do but i will say this in, in all of the blues solos that i've transcribed which is a fairly large number probably two three hundred blues solos most guys will reference that scale at some point during their solo. Is that all they do? No. Um, do they purposely avoid it? Generally, I think there's a reference to it. If I had pulled out from my file cabinet right underneath the camera here, any one of those solos, I would bet money that there's a reference to that blue scale. So it's a part of the language, it's part of the spice, and talking about spice, that sharp 11 or flat 5 is a little bit of a spicy note. We know Dexter Gordon liked to lay into it and hang out on it. But it's it's sort of like, I think of it like cooking with salt. You want some, not too much. So use that with a little bit of discretion. Um, that note wants to either go up or go down. That's the tendency of that note. Um, so this will give you a way to get started with the blues. Use that blues scale. So if you're in the key of C, the blues is being sounded in the key of C. Use that blues scale, that minor pentatonic scale with the added note, and uh, give it a try as an entry point. And then don't completely abandon that as you move forward and working through harmony. Don't completely abandon that sound, but keep referencing it, come back to it. So it'll be one of the ways that you can build an interesting solo. Hopefully that helps. Go give it a try. Thanks.